Well, a search of the Connecticut River continues in South Hadley for a missing jet skier following a boat crash last night. 22 News reporter Kate Wilkinson is live with an update from the Northwestern District Attorney's Office and State Police. Kate. Crews believe they are searching for a 51 year old man from Springfield after a crash that happened nearly 24 hours ago. 22 News was there as this boat was pulled out of Brunel's marina and damage could be spotted along the side. Police used these flotation devices to lift the boat up and guide it to the marina. According to state police, a boat collided with a jet ski around 7 Sunday night. The two people on the boat were rescued by state environmental police and were taken to Bay State Medical Center. The Northwestern District Attorney's Office said the boater is from Chicopee and the passenger is from Agawam. From there, state police searched the Connecticut River until nearly midnight, but no jet skier was found. The search started back up the next morning, utilizing side scan sonar along with marine assets, divers, and the state police air wing. I don't, I don't even know what to say anymore. It's, 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 it's a tragedy. Luke Brunel is the owner of Brunel's Marina in South Hadley. He was there shortly after the crash. He told 22 News this is an important reminder of why everyone out in the water needs to be careful. A life jacket was, should have been super important in this situation. And if you're telling me that they're looking for the jet skier, he should have been wearing a life jacket. I, I can't even imagine. I saw the damage on that boat. It's unclear if the jet skier was in fact wearing a life jacket at the time of the crash. The cause of the crash is under investigation. We'll continue to bring you updates both on air and online at WWLP.com. We're with you live in the studio, Kate Wilkinson, 22 News.